Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing part two in my declutter series today. We are tackling the eyeshadow palettes. This is the big one. I'm actually kind of nervous to do this. You guys know I have a hard time getting rid of eyeshadow palettes, but as I'm looking at my little shelf over here, I can't fit everything. And I will likely be buying more over the next six months to a year. So I have got to force myself to get rid of some things. If you're an eyeshadow fan, this should be a fun one. I'll show you guys all of the palettes in my collection, both large, medium, and small. And we'll see what I can force myself to part with. Hopefully that sounds like fun. Before we get into it, special welcome if you are a new visitor here. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoy this video. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave. Make sure your notifications are turned on. With that said, let's head over and get started. So this is my eyeshadow palette shelf. I have all of my eyeshadow palettes here, small, medium, and large. We're gonna start with the top row. First off, these right here, these are all my Nabla palettes, the cutie palettes. I don't know that I can get rid of any of these. I would get rid of the, the platinum palette, but I do really love this rose gold and this taupe in here and the silver. Okay, no, I can't, I'm sorry. I thought maybe I could get rid of this one, but I can't. You guys know these Nabla Cutie palettes are some of my all time favorites. So I'm gonna leave those alone for right now. Over here I have the Mini Juvia's Place palettes. Feel like I could get rid of one or two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and pass along the Topes palette. I like this palette a lot, but I have shades like this in other places in my collection that I prefer a little bit more. So I will pass this one along to someone. Oh, I love the Chocolates palette. But you know what, you guys? As much as I love this palette, I have so many larger Juvia's Place palettes that have similar shades to this inside them, especially now that I have the Coffee Shop palette. I don't find myself needing this one as much and I can't really travel with it as a standalone because the shades are all quite dark. So I'm gonna say goodbye to the Chocolates palette as well, even though I think it's beautiful if you like rich, dark matte browns. I think I will keep the Vanessa palette. This one is really, really pretty and fun and different. Now let's move over to these. These are my ColourPop and my Sydney Grace. Let's go through ColourPop. Let's start right here. I have these two green palettes, both of which I like, but I think they're somewhat similar to each other. This is the Fresh Greens, this is the Star Wars. Mandalorian palette. You guys, I'm gonna keep the Fresh Greens palette and get rid of the, the Child Mandalorian palette. Definitely keeping Petals on point. That's a new one that I'm loving. The Fill and Bubbly, you guys know I love that one as well. I could never pass with the Blush Crush, another favorite ColourPop nine pan of mine. I also don't think I could ever get rid of Making Mobs or That's Taupe. These are some of their best palettes in my opinion. We're going Coconuts. I don't know, is it time to get rid of this one? It is very, very pretty. I just have not used this for at least a year, maybe two years. And I think if I had to pick between this and the Fill and Bubbly palette, I think I would pick the Fill and Bubbly. And one thing that I will note and that I really like about the Fill and Bubbly palette, I like the larger pan sizes. I don't mind the smaller color pop pan sizes, but I kind of like when they're a little bit bigger like this one right here. Another reason I really love this palette, which is quite warm by the way. I think it's even a little bit warmer than the Going Coconuts. Let's just hold off for a sec on that one. And then this is the last nine pan from ColourPop. The Grandeur, they don't even have this one anymore. It's beautiful. I just don't foresee myself using it very much. So I'm gonna pass this one along. Oh, I love the packaging, it's so pretty. I think someone else will get more use out of this than I am though. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say goodbye to Going Coconuts. Ooh, that was tough. Oh, found one more hiding. This is the ColourPop of Quartz palette. I think I'm gonna pass this one along as well. There are a couple shades in here I think are really beautiful, but some of these grays are somewhat repeated in the Petals on Point palette, and I like those better, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. A little too gray for my liking. And I will just tell you guys right now, I can't get rid of anything from Sydney Grace. Last time I think I got rid of one. These are all my single shadows. These all have single shadows in them. These ones are a little larger. They, they hold 16 shades, I think, or 12 shades. These hold nine, these hold 12. I'm gonna keep all of these. California Coast, the Coffee Talk. I don't think you can get the Coffee Talk anymore, sadly, which I think is one of their best. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was the Summer Days one that you can't get anymore. But I love all these Sydney Grace palette. This one is new. I'm keeping them all. Next row, I have all of my Natasha Denona. And then some larger color pop ones here, some other miscellaneous ones over here. This row is going to be a lot harder. I don't think I can get rid of any of my Natasha Denona's. I think I said this last time, but the one I might consider in the future is the Love Palette, but even still, I'm gonna keep it. I can't, I can't do it. Even when I open this one, I know there's a handful of looks out of this palette that are pretty unique. And even though I don't use it super often, I, I can't quite get rid of it yet, so. Maybe next time I can bring myself to get rid of that one. For now, I'm just gonna keep all of those. Gotta keep my persona. I feel like I should replace this with the newer packaging. Get rid of the Tartlet and Bloom. 
I know this is like an old school favorite. If I ever do like an old school YouTube makeup video, this would be a good pick for that. It smells good. It actually kind of smells chocolatey. I'll keep it for now. Oh boy. I'm gonna keep the Physicians Formula. I really like this palette. I think it's really nice. I'm gonna keep the NARS. Summer Unrated, actually a really beautiful palette that has grown on me. I'm keeping both my Flower Beauty. Here's some ColourPop. I'm gonna pass along the Off Melrose. I, I like this one a lot. There's a couple shades in here I think are particularly beautiful, but there are a couple pressed glitters in here that I don't love the formulas of, and I just don't think I'm gonna use it very much, so I'm gonna pass this one along. I'll keep the Sweet Talk palette, although this one has even more pressed glitters than the other, but it's very unique to my collection. I don't have a lot of color stories that are quite this corally. I also think I'm gonna get rid of the Menage a Moi palette. I think it's beautiful, but I have so many berry tone palettes, and if I'm in the mood for berry tones, I, nine times out of 10, I'll probably reach for my Natasha Denona retro palette. That's one of my favorite berry tones. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Oh. And then this is the Boudoir Noir palette, which I also think I'm going to get rid of, even though I think it's beautiful. I just have other color stories somewhat similar to this that I use more. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that. Okay, I am gonna keep my Mulan palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites and I love the movie Mulan. Um, this one right here is from Pat McGrath. This is their love collection. I feel like I could probably pass this one along. It's not the most unique color story, but I spent a fortune on this little palette. I feel like I need to give it a little bit more time and use so I don't feel so terrible about the fact that I spent $60 on this little thing. So I'm gonna keep it for now, but next time this might be one on the chopping block. Keeping my Persona Identity 2, that should be up here. I'm gonna keep my Lust for Dusk, although you guys, this palette has fantastic reviews. I didn't like it as much as I thought that I would. I've used it only like four or five times and I didn't love the looks that I got out of it each of those times I used it. I don't know what it was about this one that just didn't 100% work for me or there are a couple shades in here I didn't love. Actually, I feel like I still need to get to know this one a little bit better. So I'm gonna give this one a little bit more time, but next time this one might have to be decluttered. These are both just little palettes for Charlie. This one has some ColourPop singles. This is the designer collection princess palette that Charlie loves to play with. So those we will keep. And then over here, keeping all of these, these just hold some more Sydney Grace singles. All right, down here I have kind of my long, skinny palettes, like kind of this shape. And then these are all face palettes over here. Okay, I've got the Luster palette right here, the Luster Charm. This is a really beautiful palette. I'm gonna keep this one from Alter Ego. I'm keeping my Pat McGrath. I don't know, it's one of my favorite ABH palettes, but I haven't used it as much lately, and if I had to pick between this and the Nouveau, the Rose Metals or the Soft Glam, I would probably keep those over this one, even though I love this one, or I did at one point, I just don't use it as much as I used to. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to get rid of this one. I just don't use it that much anymore. I think it's great if you have it, still enjoy it. I think it's amazing, but I have so many, I just can't keep everything, so. That was a tough one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my pumpkin spice palette, mostly because it smells delicious. It's very fun for the fall. I don't, it's not my favorite, but I, I like it. Have to keep my Urban Decay Original Naked palette. It's kind of a collector's item now. I don't really use it anymore. Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is a palette that I never ever use. I'm gonna pass it along. Oh, that's hard, because I know this is like an OG kind of collector's item palette, but I'm gonna keep my naked one for that purpose and then pass this one along. I think someone else will enjoy this. Someone that doesn't mind using palettes that are seven years old. Keeping my soft glam, keeping my rose metals, keeping my Nouveau. I'm gonna pass along the Lorac Pro. I originally wanted to keep this one for a while. I think the color story is beautiful. I just don't reach for it very often. The Lorac formula is not my very favorite. I know some people love it, but I just feel so, so about it. I am gonna hold on to my Sigma Ambience palette. I'm keeping my Heather Austin palette. Definitely keeping the Patrick Top. I'm gonna keep this Urban Decay Wild Greens palette, which I really enjoy. Keeping my Essence Hello Berlin. And I think this one, the Midsummer palette, I already did a video on. I think someone else will get some use out of this more than I will, because I own the original. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Nouveau palette from ABH, and I think it's a great little palette. So I'm gonna let someone else get some use out of that. Now over here, we've got some face palettes. I'm gonna pass this along. This is the Milani like eye and face. What are these called? The all-inclusive eye and cheek palettes. I didn't think it was bad 
I just know that I won't use this hardly ever, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Let's see, I've got these two on top. I'm definitely keeping my Sydney Grace, and I'm gonna pass along this. I'm gonna get rid of this. This came in a boxy charm like six years ago. I don't know why I've held on to, held on to it for this long. It is time to throw this in the trash. It's pretty old. I'm gonna keep the Flower Beauty. I'm gonna keep this Lottie London highlighter, which I really like. I do like this Tahiti from BH Cosmetics. Really nice if you want something small that has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And they have a couple other versions as well that have different names on them for deeper skin tones. This I think I can pass along. This is the Pixie Face Quad. I really like the blushes. Did not like the highlighter at all, even though I have another Pixie highlighter that I absolutely adore. This one was just a really weird formula. And the bronzer was just okay, so I'm gonna pass this along. Also gonna pass this one along. I really like this. This is from Folklore Cosmetics, just a highlighting palette. Some of these have a pretty serious dent in them. I just have too many. I have too many highlighters, and I think someone else will enjoy this. This is my new Tarte one. I'm gonna keep that one, even though it doesn't really have like a good a good spot here. I'm gonna get rid of my Cover FX palette. I like this one as well. I just don't use it much anymore. And I also kind of felt like these highlighting shades were a little bit dark for me. So I'm gonna pass this along. I'm gonna keep my Belgian Waffle. Even though some of these highlighters are a little dark for me, I love the bronzers. They're so nice. And the highlighters are okay. Just Sigma palette. I do sometimes like to use this on my shoulders like before I work out, which is a weird thing that I do. I sometimes put on makeup before I exercise. It's more of a stalling tactic than it is that I care what I look like working out alone in my basement, but we all have our weird things, right? So I might keep this for that. I mean, I just hate to get rid of it. The packaging's so pretty. This one could be on the chopping block next time. I don't love the Sigma highlighting formula. I am also going to keep the Rach Loves highlighter palette. This one is fantastic. Mine's kind of falling apart. Some of these, if it officially breaks, I'll probably toss this before I repress it to try to save it because it's kind of old, but I do like this. Definitely keeping my Cheek Stars palette, one of my all-time favorites. I'm gonna keep this Profusion one. I really like the Profusion face powders. I think they're really nice, super affordable. You know I'm keeping my Spotlight palette from BH Cosmetics. I think I could probably get rid of this one. This is just some contour shades also from Profusion. I think they're really nice, but I think I found this at like a TJ Maxx five or six years ago. Got my Smashbox palette here. I really like this palette. I think I prefer the Benefit palette to this one if I had to pick. And I know it's a really popular one that a lot of people have, so I'm gonna keep that. This is from Tarte. I mean, this I should just throw away. I know you're probably wondering what happened. When Charlie was a toddler, like two, she took the back end of a makeup brush and kind of gouged it into each of these shades, not knowing, or maybe knowing exactly what she was doing, actually. So she kind of destroyed these, but I liked this palette a lot. I really loved the blushes and I loved the highlighters and bronzers. They were all really good shades for me. This is the Pro Glow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along. I never use it. This is the Kevin O'Quan Face and Eye book. I'm gonna keep this. I haven't used it for probably two years. I found this at a Marshalls untouched for like $12. And I think normally this palette's really expensive. They're really good quality. It doesn't look that exciting, but it creates some really beautiful looks. Both the eyeshadow and the face products are really nice. I'm gonna keep it for now, give it a little bit more time. Okay, moving down here, this one's going to be very, very difficult. I don't think there's probably going to be many that I get rid of from here. Let's start over on this side. These are on my Juvia's Place palettes right here. I'm definitely keeping my Nubian 2. I think it was the first Juvia's Place palette I ever tried. I'm going to keep the Saharan 2 even though this one's discontinued. I'm going to keep the Tribe palette. Keeping the Magic Mini. Keeping the Coffee Shop. <laughs> I'm going to keep the Masquerade Mini. I'm going to keep the Dews. Here's one I think I might get rid of. I think this is a great one. I just don't use it very much. It's an all matte palette. This is the Warrior 2. This one I'm considering but I have used it a handful of times and Layering up these oranges and then the browns on top, oh my goodness, you get some beautiful, beautiful richness out of these. I don't know. Does this one kind of compare? So these two right here, this is the Coral palette and then the Warrior, what is this called? Warrior 2, the all matte palette. But I kind of feel like some of those shades are duplicated in this palette. So I'm going to force myself to get rid of the Warrior 2. Oh, that might have been the hardest one yet. I'm gonna keep the Nubian 3 and I'm definitely keeping the Nomad. Over here we have my BH Cosmetics palette. I have my Amal Amalfi Coast palette, Lost in Los Angeles, Avocado Toast, Blueberry Muffin, and the Hanging in Hawaii palette. I'm gonna keep them all. I love the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow formula and those. I did a good declutter of my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes last time, so I'm keeping all of those. Also keeping my Nabla palettes. 
read my mind side by side they are both amazing i am keeping the huda beauty this is the one i think that alter ego is duplicating i like this palette i can see maybe this one getting into clutter in the future because there's a couple things in here that don't work amazingly well for me i didn't like like this rich cream down here I, this cream one it creased on me and i didn't like the tone of these yellows up here but i love the peaches love this taupe color right there here are a few more alter ego palettes i have the sahara which is supposed to dupe the biba palette great palette i don't own the original biba so i'm going to keep this one the goddess palette is supposed to dupe the what is the large the gold palette from natasha denona which i don't own you know what i'm going to get rid of this one because i'm going to keep one that i like a little bit better keep the coastal palette this is a dupe for the huda beauty rose quartz palette i believe it's very pretty and then i keep on my artemis palette so this is the one that i kind of felt like the color stories have a little bit of crossover in them so i'm going to keep the artemis then we have a whole bunch of sydney grace palettes here the tiny marbles definitely not getting rid of not going to get rid of the be mine i feel like i could get rid of this one i like it i just feel like it's kind of similar to the new unbreakable bond palette and i think i like the unbreakable bond a little bit better so let's have a look at these side by side yeah they're definitely different i'm gonna keep them both for now perhaps in the future this one might get decluttered we'll see though it's really hard for me to declutter anything from sydney grace these are both new so i'm gonna keep them both heaven on earth and the love's journey you can still buy these on her website if you like greens guys you're gonna love this palette beautiful blues and greens in here but if you like neutrals i'm telling you this one is stunning i actually kind of wish it had a few pinks in here there's no pink in here nothing leans pink just because the packaging and it being named love i feel like it should have some pink but I'm not mad about it. I think it's a beautiful palette. Keeping these, I love the Quintessence and On the Horizon palettes. These are the collaboration that she did with Temptalia. They're amazing. And then I'm also keeping the Tropicolor palette for this one shade. If they ever come out with this shade Coconut in a single, I will declutter this. In fact, I did declutter this in my last declutter video. Ended up pulling it out of my declutter palette to use on a friend I was doing some makeup on just for that shade right there. And I just realized I don't have anything in my collection that is like this kind of yellowy, buttery, super pigmented, bright it's so pretty on the inner corner. So I'm keeping this whole palette just for that one shade, which is kind of silly. All right, this right here, you guys, I am going to force myself to get rid of the berries and cream palette. I told myself last time, we're gonna try one more time to get some use out of this. I think this is one of the best formulas I own, but I never use it. I don't know why. I just always forget that I have this one. I don't think of it very often and clearly that should tell me something. So I'm just gonna pass this along. It's a great palette. I know tons of people love this one. The formulas are amazing. I just never use it. Definitely keeping this holiday Pat McGrath. This is version or volume one. The first year they did these, so good. I think I'm gonna get rid of the It's a Mood palette from ColourPop. You guys, I was on the Ulta website the other day and I came this super close to getting the Stone Cold Fox palette. This one's just a little too colorful for me. I just don't use it very much. I'm finding myself being less and less brave with color the older I get and the times where I want to be colorful and creative are more rare now that I'm getting older. Like I just want my makeup to look good. I don't want to be too creative. I'm going to keep the Tati palette. Definitely keeping my ABH Norvina which is quite new to me although it already is like kind of getting some like rubbing off on the Letters on the front, which is kind of sad. I am going to keep my Harry Potter palette from ColourPop, but I want to give an update on my thoughts on this palette. I feel like they should have done a better job at the color story inside. Like, I feel like they tried to match the shadows to the packaging, like the Hogwarts theme. Maybe a lot of people might think that's not a bad thing, but I don't feel like the color story, as far as what you want to use on your eyes, is something I would want to reach for for the makeup itself rather than just for the experience and the packaging, which I do love. And I think it's, I mean, it's such a shame because I think this packaging situation just brings me so much joy. But when I think of putting these shades on my eyes, there's a lot in here that I didn't love, both the colors and the formulas. I didn't think it was ColourPop's very best, which I feel like they should have done their very best. When you're doing something this, great with something that's so beloved like Harry Potter. I think they could have done a better job in my personal opinion, which I'm sure a lot of people won't share, but that's just kind of my thoughts. There's a lot in here that I just didn't think worked amazingly well. The colors weren't that inspiring to me. And for something, for someone that loves Harry Potter so much, I, I wish I liked the shadows in here more than I do, but I'm still keeping it. 
And then this right here, the BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I told myself I would probably declutter this one, but as I look at these shades, you guys, they are stunning. I wish they would come out with this palette not in Christmas packaging. I know that's kind of stupid, but it's such a beautiful color story. There are so many shades in here, particularly the shimmers that are out of this world gorgeous. So I'm going to keep it. If I don't use it between now and the next time I do it declutter, if I don't use it this holiday season, I will declutter it next time. But for now, I'm going to keep it. And then last but not least, I've got to keep my Zodiac palette. I still really love this one. I think it's great. Not a lot in that. I think I only got rid of two or three in that entire row, but that's okay. I knew that one would be hard. All right, last row. This is where all my smaller shadows are. Mostly these are in bins. So I have these right here and these are mostly singles. So let's go through these first. I've got all my Kaja in here. I am not getting rid of you guys. I think I went through all of these last time. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one right here. Even for Charlie, I was thinking I would keep it for like Halloween in case she ever wanted to be a mermaid or something. But even if that happens, I've got plenty of eyeshadow palettes I could reach for. So I'm gonna get rid of this glitter pigment. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Kathleen Lights pigment. They're just so hard, hard to use. They're very messy, so I never reach for them. So I'm gonna pass that along to someone else. Definitely keeping everything from Sydney Grace. I'm keeping all of my ColourPop singles. Okay, I have one more. This is another Sydney Grace pigment. This one's more of like a bright pink. I'm gonna pass that along as well. And actually, I'm gonna get rid of this too. This is from Sydney Grace. This one was in the shade Starry Night. It's kind of like a blue green. Let me swatch it for you guys, just so you can admire how beautiful this is. But the shade is just a little too dark for some for liquid shadow. For me, I usually don't like colors like this that are quite this dark on my eyes. It just doesn't look good on me, but look at this shade, you guys. Wow, it's like a mermaid, but it's just too dark to put on my lid unfortunately, because I could just admire that all day. So I'm gonna pass that along. Maybe someone else will enjoy that more than I have. I like her lighter shades with her cream shadows. I'm gonna get rid of these hourglass pot shadows, these cream shadows. I never use them. I feel like I should because they're hourglass, but I just don't. So maybe someone else will. And then everything else in here is good. These down here, these are just the rest of my Sydney Grace singles and face products, which I am keeping. A little sample here that Maybe I should put that on my desk and try and use it. Okay, so that's good for those. Let's move over to my little bin. In fact, let me swap these two. We're gonna swap these around so you guys can see a little bit better. So here is my bin of small shadows. I'm sure there are a few things in here I can get rid of. First off, these two Pacifica palettes. I've been waiting for a declutter to get rid of these. I don't like these. I don't feel like the formulas are great. They have really good reviews though, so it makes me a little bit confused. Clearly some people like these. I just haven't been a big fan. I'm gonna get rid of these two from Flower Beauty. I actually really like these formulas. I just don't use them very often. If I'm gonna do something Flower Beauty related, I'll probably just use her Jungle Lights or Desert Lights, Desert, what's that desert one called? I can't remember, you know, the glittery ones, but these I just don't use very much, so I'm gonna pass those along. Should I get rid of my Soft and Sultry palette finally? I haven't used it for about three years. This kind of makes me sad for Milani. Like they were like super on top of the drugstore world when they came out with these. And then I haven't been as excited about them as a brand, especially their eyeshadows since the release of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along. I just don't use it. Keeping these MAC singles that I never use just cause they they have sentimental value to me. <laughs> Some of the first high-end products that I bought when I got into makeup. I'm keeping my Huda Beauty khaki, haze and sand haze palette. Well, I'm gonna pass along the sand haze. I just have other, oh gosh though, the packaging of these are glorious. Yes, I'm gonna pass it along. Uh, that one's hard because I love the packaging of that one, but I do still like the khaki haze one. And I'm also gonna keep these three from Huda Beauty. The cool matte palette. I'm still gonna keep the warm matte because I wanna try it out this fall. There were some things about this I didn't love, but I think in the fall these, sh these shades will be really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one a little bit longer. Maybe in the future, this is one that could get decluttered. And then my nude light, probably my favorite from Huda Beauty. All right, I'm keeping all of my essence. Dancing greens, rose will go on, nothing compares to nude. Coral me maybe in bronze this way. These are all fantastic. Perhaps the best at the drugstore. We're gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep this, which is the Copper Theory palette from Persona, very underrated. Okay, I've got all my Wet n Wild. Maybe I can get rid of one of these. Uh, actually, I don't know that I can. I'm gonna keep all of these. I'll get rid of one of the smaller ones. Okay, this I can get rid of, this is from Revlon. This is just a very boring eyeshadow palette. The quality was okay. It just wasn't like amazing. 
And the formulas were weird. Everything had shimmer in this, but they weren't super shimmery. They were all just kind of moderately shimmery. It was kind of confusing. I'm gonna pass it along. I think I'll keep my little Egypt palette from BH Cosmetics. It's a good travel palette. I'm like, I'm not wild about it, but I'm gonna keep this little Glitter Unleash a palette. It's a K-Beauty palette. I like this. I could see myself decluttering that in the future, but for now I like it. I'm also keeping my Lottie London. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my Milani Gilded Mini Palette. This one, I think the formulas are great. Why is it that I never reach for this though? Again, I think it comes down to when I'm in a mood for berries, I have a handful of palettes that I think of and this is not one of them. I usually will reach for one of my Sydney Grace palettes or my Retro palette. I have a couple from Nabla that I love and this is just not my favorite, although I would recommend it. If you like berry tones and you're looking for something drugstore priced, I think this is good. By the way, the shade on this one is the Wind Down. Um, I have this for Makeup by Mario. I actually love this silver. It's like a slightly warm, kind of more taupey silver. I don't really love these two shades. I really like these two though. I'm gonna keep this for a little bit longer. I'm also gonna keep this Pure Nude weekend palette. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of like a basic, almost boring palette, but I do use it sometimes. This is the Wednesday on point eyeshadow palette. Okay, I've got these little palettes here. I'm definitely keeping the purple Pat McGrath. I'm gonna keep this Sublime Smoke one for now. Although in the future, I could see myself getting rid of this one just because this shade shows up a little yellow on my inner corner in a way that I don't think looks great on me, but I like everything else. The formas are nice. I, I just wish that champagne was a little bit different. And then this is my Viseart little mini palette. These things are so tiny, holy smokes. I think in the fall I'll use it a little bit more, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Let's go through these ColourPop ones. I feel like I should be able to get rid of a couple of these. First off, let's see, what do I have? Cream soda. I'm definitely keeping Sorbet. I think this one's probably my favorite. Actually, I have two cream sodas. Why do I have two of the same palette? Oh, I think I repressed this one, it shattered. I'll keep the one that I repressed and pass along the one that is still in good shape. Oh, I love this one too. This is Citrus Fizz. I feel like very basic kind of warm neutrals. That one's gorgeous. And what do you know, I have another sorbet. So I had some duplicates here. Pass that one along. I think I'm gonna keep these two and then also get rid of Cream Sickle. All right, we are making some progress. I've got my two e.l.f. palettes here. I'm gonna keep both of these. I have the Cream and Sugar and then the Hot Jalapeno. I like both of these, very basic, very bold, but the, this is such a pretty green look. If you like a bold green look, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna pass along this one from LA Girl. I just didn't love the shimmer shades in here. I didn't think they looked very good on me. Let's go through my Wet n Wild smaller palettes. And then we'll go through my Natasha Denona minis. Gosh, I love these so much, you guys. I, this is gonna be hard. I'm definitely keeping this one. What is this one called? Petalette. I'm also gonna keep these two. Go Commando and Sunday's very warm, bronzy, orangey. I feel like I could get rid of one of them, actually. I am going to keep Sunday's and get rid of Go Commando. I'm also gonna get rid of this one. This has some green tones in it. I really like this one if those are your type of shades, My Lucky Charm. The looks are really pretty. In fact, this green is really unique. It's kind of more like a cream formula. Look at that color, so pretty. Just have other greens I think I like a little bit better. I don't really like that shade on me, I like that deep, deep kind of khaki, charcoaly green. I don't think it looks very good on me. And then these two, I do really like this one. This is the Camel Flaunt. Love this, love the shades in here. I don't love the glitter as much. This one's already broken. I actually use this one a lot. And then this is the Walking on Eggshells, the updated version of Walking on Eggshells, which I think I'll also keep. And here are all my mini Natasha Denona so far. I actually have another one that is going to be on its way soon, so that will be fun. But I'm not getting rid of any of these. I actually love them all. And that is it. That looks much better. I have some space for some other ones if I need it. Let's go over and count and see how we did. And here we are. These are all my declutters from my eyeshadow shelf. Now, six of these products were face face palettes, those up here, but everything else are kind of eyeshadow singles or eyeshadow palettes. I tallied everything up, 44 items total, which is 38 eyeshadow products. Couple of singles in there, some smaller palettes, and then some larger palettes as well. Pretty good progress for me. I definitely have a lot more room on my shelf and in my small eyeshadow bin. Hopefully someone else will get some good use out of this. The one interesting thing about this, as much as it's hard for me to let this stuff go, I feel excited for the people that get to pick through my declutter collection, the more declutters I do, because I feel like the quality of the things I get rid of gets 
increases. So I think some people will be really excited to use some of this makeup. There's some really good stuff in here that even I myself would still use if I didn't have so much, which is kind of the name of the game. I'm coming to terms with it, but I'm excited to pass some of these along. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little declutter series. What do you guys think? Are you surprised by any of the things that I decluttered? I had to start somewhere. It's hard when I feel like almost any eyeshadow palette that doesn't completely suck holds a special place in my heart. So it's always hard for me to do this, but I feel like I'm getting better. As the years pass and my collection gets bigger and I get a little bit older, I feel like it's a little bit easier to let some of this stuff go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me give you one last reminder. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.